that the uh, Judean people's front over there? Judean people's front down here. Oh, is that her? Yeah, I don't. I mean, there's people's front of Judea up there. Splitters. He knew to come here because of the steps and yeah. That's nuts. Men, men, men. <laughs> How do you like your eggs, Snows? Men, 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 manly men, 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 men. Men, 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 Yeah, what's men, 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 when it's at home? It's like a Turkish omelette. It doesn't look like an omelette. It's not. It's looking quite eggy today, actually. It's got slightly picante, a little bit of spice in there. Yeah. It's just like tomatoes and peppers and onions and egg. Yeah. I like it when they do it like this, though, because you can probably. What am I supposed to do? Just eat with my hand. Use Oh. Knives and forks? Bloody hell, it's quite but advanced, this country. I recommend, I recommend the dippage. The dip oh, this. yeah. Oh, look at the way that egg broke open. Yeah, man. Fucking so you, hell, man. You want to get that shit going? I can see mine's going to go like that as well. They're just set. That's just perfect, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It looks, you know, potentially underdone. But it is underdone, isn't it? Anyway, I've eaten raw Um... So what? It, but, oh, but that's also like an omelette in there, is it? Also, it's Egg City. Yeah, it's just like it's like an un, you know. I say it's like an omelette. It's just eggy, you know. Hmm. That's nice, actually. That's nicer than what I had yesterday. It's a good breakfast thing, you know. This is a breakfast time in Turkey, you know. I'm just gonna put that on there so that cooks a bit, hopefully, eh? Huh? A bit of heat. Mm. My first time with men for breakfast. Well, it was like this today when I had the gay toast. <laughs> and then went to the Temple of Men. <laughs> and then a Turkish prison. So I've had quite a lot of men actually you already. Get the bread in there, man. Yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Do it, man. Let's have a dunk. Watch this. Poetry in motion. That's a slow motion shot, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll have to slow that one down. Oh, look at that. Orgasmic. Men and men, Chai, OJ, and Nolsey's fucking brother. What a way to start the day. Say something in Turkish. Nasılsın? Teşek ederim. What does that mean? I like men. <laughs> it does. It's the only phrase I needed. <laughs> Rock and roll. Right, that is official. I love men. Amen. Hey. I always knew it. I always knew it. Couple of days with you, Nosey, and I'm back on the men. I'm in. This is a mouthful of men. I've had, you know, I've been off the men for a few years now, but I've got it dribbling all down my chin now. <laughs> you do know that there's no actual anatomical difference <laughs> between the inside of a man's mouth and the inside of a woman's mouth, don't you? You realise that. It's food for thought, isn't it? Yeah. Right, they're big on the sweets out here. Um, you can see a nice selection of cakes here. Um, these little biscuits and little chocolates look really good as well. But, uh, yeah, those, those cookies, man, that is a bit of me. Um, this stuff, though, that is the classic Turkish stuff, known as bak baklava. Um, I'm not sure if they're all baklava, that one is for sure, these ones are something different, um, that is just super sweet and that is not for me unfortunately, so you will not be seeing me uh, try any, well I might have a little one, I might have a little bite, if, 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 if Nolsey were to leave one on my pillow. Well check this out anyway down here. Yeah. See there is a town of Bruins, you know there's Bruins everywhere. Yeah. And you can see the mosque there. Like oh yeah. The That's not a bad little mosque, is it? Oh, it's a good one, yeah. It's like a mini blue mosque, isn't it? Blue mosque looks like that, doesn't it? With the older yeah, but the minarets. Blue is the only one in 
all of Turkey that has seven minarets, six maybe, I can't remember. But it's the only right? one in the whole of Turkey which has that number of minarets. It's special. See, you're getting some fucking empirical data today with this guy. I don't normally get this, my viewers knows. Yeah, they just okay. get what I kind of guess probably is the case. Yeah. Which I... Well, I, I don't know what the history of this is, but this is my favourite piece of ruin in the town because it just looks so precarious. Oh, right. Just this one... Hmm. Very interesting it's indeed. Like top brick. It's just sort of like balanced. <laughs> oh, wow. That is an accident waiting to happen, isn't it? Oh, and... Le Tower Eiffel. The tour is it? Oh, fond memories of the Eiffel Tower. My friend Ado again will remember that we visited the Eiffel Tower together. Wonderful experience. That was in Taipei. Taipei. Also the uh, home of the tallest building in the world at the time anyway, Taipei 101 which I did go up while it was the tallest building in the world. Oh, but now, okay. you know that's about sixth place now. Is it? They've built that many buildings. There's a couple in China that are taller. Yeah. They've got the old, obviously the Burj Al Khalif in Dubai is the tallest. Sure. Um, I mean, I went up 101 and then a few weeks later we ended up in Dubai, but I never got a chance to go up the Burj. Oh, right. It looks so ridiculous, the Burj. It's so skinny, it's like a little needle. Yeah, like I don't think you can go up. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course you can. I wish I was have you up it. No, I mean the very top peak part of it, though. I don't think sure. you can necessarily. Right, so that is your favourite scenic spot in Sida, yeah? I find it interesting, this one, because it's just sort of tucked in this sort of urban area. And it's just you think it's the same as the other stuff? The old, like the other stuff? I don't think this is as old as the uh, Roman stuff. Yeah. But let's go check out the amphitheatre, man. Oh, yeah. Bloody marvellous. Right, so I was looking at these yesterday, um, you know, and uh, they're obviously like a shop fronts or something, yeah? Yeah. And there's a whole row Bloody of them along here. There. It leads all the way down to the amphitheatre there. This is an old. Yeah. Like this is like, you know, people would come down here, buy their shopping. Yeah. Then go to the Gourds. amphitheater and watch the stoning or something yeah, like that. Two men beat each other to death. Yep. Um, oh, well, we're going to call this episode A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. Oh, this is a good one. See, because all this stuff, this has pretty much not been restored, has it? No, this is just left. All these columns and that everywhere. Fascinating, isn't it? I ain't seen such extensive ones. I was saying yesterday as well, but you compare this to bloody Verulanium. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, it's shit, isn't it? Yeah, I went to see the amphitheatre in St Albans. There's, there's, oh, there was... there. there's nothing there. It's like a basic outline on the floor. Yeah, right. Something like that. I mean, that, this hasn't been restored too much here. Oh, incidentally, I went to a uh, bullfight in um, oh, yeah. Madrid. Okay. Yeah, fucking savage, mate. Yeah. It is actually savage, you know. You know, I'm not much one for, uh, um, you know, getting uptight about these kind of cultural practices that we do not understand, but it uh, is undoubtedly unnecessary. I love you know? it. It's my favourite bit. Undoubtedly yeah. unnecessary. Yeah. Well, you're arching out these bits of wood here. I know that's just like, but it looks like some kind of film set, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It reminds me, I was going to say, it reminds me of like Chessington World of Adventures or something. Yeah, yeah. Fort it does. Towers it, it, or something. It looks like official. It looks like yeah. it's been built purposely, but obviously it's just as it was. See, that's obviously reconstructed in the middle though, isn't it? Yeah, it does feel like we're about to queue up for a ride, like yeah. Ramesses' Revenge. <laughs> and look at it, I love the way the road has got to go through this. Yeah. <laughs> really fascinating. Oh, there is a ticket office, is there? Alright, I'm going 
Ecke. 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 Wie ist das? Ja. Yeah? Yeah. Like less than three quid, it's not much. Yeah, bueno. Thank you. Is this a gaze <laughs> entry? Yeah. So, here we go. We're going for a date with theatre. Teatro Antique, yeah, this place. Yeah. The Antique Theatre, I suppose that means. Wow. Bob Geldenis. Bob Geldenis. <laughs> now performing live, Bob Geldenis. Wow. Bueno. This one is a hospital. Okay, I think that's a bath. Okay, yeah, I was really impressed by that yesterday. Wow, I'm impressed by this as well, man. Yeah, because this one isn't as restored, I don't think. Yeah, oh, it right. Actually looks pretty restored on there. I don't know. I don't know how much it's the original stone was, but yeah, it's hard to. Oh, this over here, obviously. Is... Wow, the the cheap seats up there, yeah, they look fun. How it... did they get up there? It must have been some sort of wooden staircase, I imagine. It's, yeah. it's corroded. They do shows here still. Oh, do they? Yeah, they did. They had a big jazz festival like a couple of. Okay, that's a few cool. Weeks ago, like four weeks ago, there was a jazz festival here, free concerts every night. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I was working, but like, they did get in the science center free part, uh, free jazz festival. Oh, um, nice. It's really cool sitting here. Yeah, this is a great little town. And like the mountains in the background fucking sets yeah, it off, yeah, doesn't it? That is mountains. the cherry on the coke. Taurus mountains, yeah. like El Toro. Yeah, like the horoscope. Yeah? The ball. What kind of shows do you reckon they had back in the day here? They probably did plays. Did like plays, you know. Plays, but I mean, I don't, mm. think, I don't know if they did like gladiators fights in this kind of venue, you know? Back, but I haven't said that, there's no reason why you couldn't have a gladiator fight down there. Yeah, yeah. But apparently, gladiators didn't fight to the death. Is that Contrary right? To popular opinion, they were just, you know, just fight to so there was like a definite winner. What about the old. Probably an urban myth. Is that right? There you go. I they definitely. read that recently. I mean, look at these top seats up there. Imagine about being up there, right? Precarious. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool, man. Wow, you can see how many ruins there are all along the landscape, though, can't you? This has got to be some of the best preserved stuff around, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I'm I said the one in Espendos is supposed to be the best preserved in the world. Yeah, Espendos. Yeah, it's not. Is it in this country? Yeah, yeah, it's like, we've been, I went up there with uh, Elmer and himself, and it's like 40 minute drive from here. Hmm. Best preserved in the world, eh? Hey, if we go there, there's a, we didn't have time to go to Perge, but maybe we can do it. Perge is like a Roman town. Perge. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so do you think these are like the VIP executive boxes? Where they do I the prawn think. sandwiches and all that. Oh right, yeah, it's like the bit around the edge, isn't it, where they all filter in. And so they'd have had the beers and the hot dogs out here, wouldn't they? Yeah. Um, how about at your resort? Would you say it's mostly Germans over here? I think this is a popular spot for in Germans, my, in isn't my it? Resort, it's mostly, mostly English, English resort. Mostly English, there right? Oh, because they all come in on the Thompson holidays yeah, yeah, and all that. Entertainment for English people. Okay. But I mean, mainly Germans and Scandinavians here. Yeah. Most of the guys in the area will speak to you in German and Scandinavian. Yeah, right. Especially, I've especially me, obviously, because I'm fair haired and blue eyed, so they just assume. Because I, when I was walking up and down last night, it was all German that I was hearing. I think, uh, I think England's recently discovered this resort, really. I think it's yeah, because I didn't know anything about um, Antalya, you know. But I'm here, it clearly is a massive holiday destination. And look in the distance over there, you can see the whole sort of city. Yeah. What, what, what town is that then? That's, That's towards Kumkoi. Kumkoi. This is all still sea day. But um, if you go down the front, you'll see, if you walk towards Kumkoi, yeah. you'll just see the hotels are humongous. They're all like really new, but they're massive. Yeah, and if we drive I did see some of them yeah, as I walked yeah, along the beach. They're huge, they're like ridiculous, like all five star resorts. If we go to drive down to Alanya, you'll see some of the biggest, fanciest hotels you'll ever see, man. Right. It's ridiculous ones like that. Oh, Alanya, oh, yeah. I heard Alanya was where the party's at, a couple of lads were telling me yeah, yesterday. Yeah. I hear, it, yeah, I mean, the local guys always said they go out to Alanya. Oh, should we sit down on the real steps? Like that. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I'm 36. 
Thank you for watching. It's bit better to perform for an audience, right? <laughs> Is that what you said about Lady Marmalades? <laughs>